All right. This is pretty good hands. Yeah. We should... The fear of the bitten on Neonate is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't want to mulligan. That's crazy talk. Those have a Geist Flame just in case. It might just in case, I mean, to kill. We got friggin' instigator gangs. We have a gang of them. It's true, we have a gang of gangs. Oh, he didn't even play his 1-1 uh, one, one mana fixing man. That's too bad. Let's play a neonate. You think this is better than the ironsmith? Yeah. Yeah. He'll try to play a blocker, we'll play... Yeah. We'll yeah, play this is a lot Fira. better. <laughs> Yeah. He's all over there like, Psh, I cut this guy with my 1-4. And I'm just like, well, I'm playing spells that some people think are bad. <laughs> yep. Let's see if it's bad. Let's see. Seems pretty good. I killed his wall, which is relevant, really relevant. I guess he's probably gonna bounce it. No. Hmm, that's good. A moon heron. We're gonna play. Oh, do we play an instigator gang? Do we play galvanic juggernaut? Like, I think we just start we laying just down instigator gangs. Him, right? I think we lay down instigator gang first. Does he give them trample? No, but it pumps it up. Like, he's gonna trade with his Moon Heron. That's the problem here. You think? Yeah. Okay. Just attack and see that that happens. Yeah. So then I put a Juggernaut down? Yeah. Yeah, we got card parity out of this combo. <laughs> it's pretty good. Like, that's pretty good, too. Oh, yeah. Like, it would have been better if we could have just killed it, but yeah. Whatever. We got to trade with a wall and a 3-2 flyer that we couldn't otherwise have dealt with, which seems pretty good. No, it's not. That, that was not so? good for us, no. We're an aggressive deck. Well... We're not afraid of a flyer. Should I Geist Flame this before... I should have played, should have played this instigator gang. Yeah. Oh well. I'm just gonna like let him. Okay. Um, I think you just play instigator gang and then geist flame. Yeah, I was afraid he might have that like, rune boggle thing. Yeah. That's fine though. Oh, it's really happening. That's okay. I guess we'll get rid of this Iron Smith. Or Geist Flame? Uh, yeah. Probably, probably Geist. Iron Smith. It's better for your mana. I agree. Next turn, you can play the Gang and Geist Flame. Yeah. Seems pretty good. To have just all of the instigators. Mm hmm Yeah, plus you wanna Geist Flame on your turn to untap your guy. Mm-hmm. This guy's tapping No. Yep. Grixis deck. Flashing it back. You gonna bounce my gang? If he does, I'm gonna play the other one and he's not gonna know. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm it's doing happening. It. It's happening. This is actually happening. So yeah, you play your gang and geist flame and then attack. Yep. And look, you have another Wait. ironsmith. I said I was gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Okay, fine. Oh, same same guy, huh? Pretty cool, huh? 
That is so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> it happened again. With the juggernaut, I'm actually used to it now, I think. But not for the neonate. That guy on the left has the greatest facial hair. Yeah. Really sells His the time pose period. is really good, too. Okay. Look how he doesn't have an answer. <laughs> That's cool. Hmm. Should I play that in Ironsmith? No. Just play Instigator Game? Full Moon's Rise is something you play before you attack, and your creatures need to be out before that can happen. Mm. Boy, you know what's going to make a great next turn? If I get a land. Because then I get to play... Oh, a Heretic's Punishment. That doesn't seem like it's going to be relevant. Maybe you great. do play the Full Moon's Rise now because of his Heretic's Punishment. On the other hand, it untaps your guy. I really am not sure. Like, I think I just played both of these. Yeah, sure. No. Before combat. Oh, okay, sorry. I, I forgot that you weren't playing the Full Moon's Rise. Yeah, you play him before combat. Do I play the Full Moon's Rise, too? I well, that's what I was saying, is, like, because he has the Heretic's Punishment, you could do that. On the other hand, like, you could just force him to waste his turn killing one of your guys and untapping your 5-5, five five. so I don't yeah. think that that's terrible. I don't think I play Full Moon's Rise. I think I sandbag it until I need to. Right. Getting past two instigator gangs is great. Yeah. It's really interesting that this is like a static thing so it doesn't hit the stack. Yeah. It's just a thing that happens. Uh-huh. This man's getting all of the lands. He's splashing for heretic's punishment. Oh, uh, that would matter if I did not have the ability to give my guys trample, which I do. He has no cards in hand either. No, he's just boned. He's probably just upset about it. No, he was thinking about if he should kill your guy in response, and then if that would help him at all. Or if he would just be showing you cards. Then that's what he would have been doing. Okay, yeah. so this seems like it's working out okay. Like, I think this build is fine. I don't know if the yeah. other one is more correct, but... Yeah, I don't know either. I think it's an <sighs> interesting choice. Yeah. I think this is a little better, maybe. But I think it really probably depends on the, the deck. I don't yeah. know. I don't really know what we should put in. The guy played lands. He played so many lands, and then Heretic's Punishment. He played walls, so maybe Curse Heretic's of the Nightly Hunt. Curse of the Nightly Hunt. For his 1-4? Curse of the Nightly Hunt for his 1-4? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do we cut Fury of the Bitten because he has Bounce? And yeah. Not Bonds of Faith. Because he has Bounce, right? Like... Well, like, if he has to spend his own Bounce returning his creatures to his hands, like, I think he's still dead. Yeah. I would say, um... What should we cut for the fox? What is that thing? The the clutch. Clutch, you think? Yeah. What is the fox for? The heretic's punishment? Oh, yeah. 